I dreamed about the day that maybe I could go to Alaska one time in my life and fish. And here I'm looking at a river that's full of fish, the same fish that are found in Alaska, the same fish that are found up in the maritime provinces, the same trout that are found in Europe. I can think I'm back in Russia or maybe in Labrador, but I'm not, I'm on the Salmon River. Every river is unique and the Salmon River, it has its own personality. I love how fast the water is in this river. I like to be challenged as an angler. I don't want it to be easy. Like many people in upstate New York, I don't think they believe that there's Pacific salmon and steelhead swimming out of Lake Ontario and running rivers like you'd see in the Pacific Northwest. A friend of mine brought me up. He goes, let's go steelhead fishing. Being from Oregon, I'm scratching my head going, what the hell is this kid talking about? And we come up to the Salmon River, and I couldn't believe it. Within a matter of minutes, bam, I'm on. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is fighting like a steelhead. It's jumping, it's running, I can see chrome bright. This is pretty sweet. Especially after we ended up with 14 fish that day. It was a matter of a few hours. We had a year's worth of fish that I would fish for out west. Oh, dude, it was a monster. The steelhead is the fish that's, I like to call the lifeblood of the Salmon River. The salmon are what bring the big crowds in and really is the backbone of the economy, but the steelhead is what keeps the doors open for seven months solid of the year. There's just not a more beautiful time on the Salmon River than when those steelhead, it's like a trigger. Mother Nature is like blessing us with these beautiful fish and this beautiful scenery. The Salmon River is not just the background to Oswego County, but it's the jewel of the entire eastern shore of Lake Ontario. There's nowhere else like it. The Salmon River fishery in general has year-round fishing that is overlooked. We have some kind of sport fish, whether it's a salmonid, smallmouth bass, carp, pike in the estuary. There's always some kind of major sport fish that people are seeking and will drive to come visit us for. We're in a very unique spot with a river that sees numbers unlike pretty much anywhere else in the world. It's kind of a crazy fishery. I don't know anywhere else in the world that you can target all those fish in one river. We have kind of a mixed history of the Salmon River. The Salmon River was a snagging river for a long time, and I think there's still a lot of anglers out there that believe the only way that you're gonna catch a salmon is through some unethical methods. These fish aren't getting the proper respect that they're due, but over the last 20 years that I've been involved in this fishery, there has been great progress. The DC, it sees the Salmon River as one of the greatest resources in New York State. It is the most heavily forested area in New York State outside of the Catskill Preserve and the Adirondacks. This river is producing, particularly for Chinook salmon, in the millions of wild salmon per year. And probably more wild salmon come out of this river system than all of Lake Ontario's stocking combined. So the state has recognized that and it has put tremendous amounts of effort into protecting that resource. I think that the whole broad spectrum of fishing is to really enjoy nature and with Fran's help, with the DC's help, with the officers patrolling the area, we're trying to make it a better place for everybody. People want to come and catch fish, that's number one, but it's not everything to a sport fisherman. It is the community, it's being out in nature, it's tying a fly that you tied, that you created, and learning to fish it properly, and gauging what water depth the fly has got to ride at. It's all part of it. 
This place has truly opened up my eyes and my perspective on what you can do with other fisheries as well. It's one river and it's only 12 miles long and there's always something new that I learn every single year. It's a different fishery than it was, you know, even five, ten years ago than what we're seeing now. And I think that's going to continue to change as anglers become more ethical. We see more families out on the river. We see more female anglers out on the river. That's all making a change to the better. And I think it's creating a more inviting salmon river. I want the river to be respected and not taken for granted. Along with the fish, along with the wildlife, along with the flora fauna that goes along with the river, it's all part of the ecosystem and on slow days of fishing, you have to be able to soak up everything around you and enjoy that. It's fishing, it's not catching. The river is the lifeblood of Pulaski and Altmar. This fishery and these fish, they're unlike anything else. These are living creatures, they're beautiful, they are part of my life. To me, having a viable and healthy fishery is more important than just making money.